In this video, we'll look at how to import connections in SQL Developer. It's a great feature of SQL Developer if you work in a team and want to use a standard set of connections, or if you're moving computers and want to back up your connections to save you time. In order to import connections, you'll need to have exported the connections first. Take a look at my recent video on exporting connections to see how to do that. Let's get into importing connections. The first step is to open SQL Developer, so I'll assume you've done that. Once you're in SQL Developer, go to the Connections panel on the left. If you don't see the Connections panel, go to View and then select Connections. Right-click on the entry at the top of the panel called Oracle Connections and then select Import Connections. You'll see a window that will start the process of importing connections. The first step here is to select a file. This would be the JSON file that contains the connections, which was generated as part of the export connections process. You can click on the down arrow here to show a list of recently used files in the import or export process, and your file may appear. It does for me. If not, you can click the browse button to browse to the file you have saved with your connections. Once you have selected a file, click next. During the export connections process, you have the choice of either including your passwords and protecting them with a key, or removing passwords. If your exported connections included passwords, they were protected with an encryption key. This key needs to be entered here in order for SQL Developer to use the passwords. So enter the key here if you used one. If you chose to remove passwords from the exported file, then you can select the second option of remove all passwords from exported connections. Once you've chosen the right option, click Next. This screen shows a list of connections in the file. You can indicate to include all of the connections in the file by clicking on the checkbox at the top of the connections item. Alternatively, if you only want one or a few connections, click the checkbox for the connections you want. At the bottom of the screen is a section for duplicate connections. If you have a connection in SQL Developer that has the same name as the one you're importing, you need to decide what you want to do with it. SQL Developer can either rename the connection being imported, so you have both connections, or replace the existing connection with the one being imported. Choose which option you want and then click Next. On this screen you'll see a summary of your choices from earlier steps. If it all looks OK, click Finish. Your connections will then be imported and added to the Connections panel on the left. If you chose to rename duplicates, you'll see an underscore one next to the rename connections. If you've replaced them, then the new connections will overwrite the old ones. If the connection did not exist, it will be added here. So that's how you can import connections into SQL Developer. If you learned something new from this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel. If you want to learn more about database design and development, visit databasestar.com. That's where I share my best database related content. Which part of this tutorial was the most helpful? Was it the location of the import connections option, or the ability to select and rename connections, or something else? Thanks for watching.